This will be a short lecture on how knowing differs from understanding and how words spoken are understood different by different people on the examples of heathens and Christians. When Judeo Christianity in the Western world managed to almost completely colonize the spiritual world. Colonized in the sense of using words, ideas, and doctrines, colonizing it. So when you speak of heavens, the Christian, you understood, yes, the Jewish or Christian heavens. And you say, no, no, the pagan heavens, heathen heavens. You haven't thieved the heavens from everyone else, from the Hindus, from the Buddhists, from the Shintoists from the Greco-Roman pagans, and so on and so on. You haven't. Because it is a vast territory, a spiritual expanse. In fact, not only Judeo-Christians didn't steal heavens from the rest of us, but they are not allowed in. Because they committed a treason against the whole. They thieved the heavens with their idiots from the side of others. So when you speak with a Christian or a Jew, whether you believe in God, and I say, I believe in divinity and divinities, they don't get that. So you believe in God? I say, no, not your God. Not your simulation and understanding of a God. Not your doctrines, not your theology, not your history of ideas. I believe in my divinities in which I'm highly effective in communicating with my deities a pluribus unum so this is just a notion of understanding that when pagans, heathens, nobilitas because pagan is a term invented by Christians to denigrate nobilitas the nobility of Rome each time they think heavens or God, they think in a Jewish fashion. They worship a Jewish God, a Jewish corpse on the cross, and they become same-like. So Christians are the sectarians of Jewish people because they believe in a Jewish God and a Jewish corpse on the cross. And what you worship is what you become. Now a stark contrast when a nobilitas commits to the virtues of the ancients, whether by the standards of Greeks or the virtues of Republican Rome, he becomes likewise if he values heroism, memory, reverence for the gods, commitment, a completely different morality than Judeo-Christian Judeo morality then it's a whole world apart. I just wanted to make a note of that. Because it is very important to understand that the same word means different things for different people. And I would like to set a liminal barrier between nobilitas, divinity, and their divine heavens, spheres, and stars, and their belief systems, in stark contrast to Judeo Christianity that inflated a desert godling to the whole of the universe, which is complete nonsense. Just imagine a crippled Jewish god commanding the universe. And the crippled Jewish god is made by crippled Judeo Christian ideas on how divinity is. So extend this crippled Judeo-Christian idea of a god made by mortals because all theology and philosophy is invented by mortals as the Amplicus of Calcis said and wrote because that Nazarene thing was illiterate. He couldn't even write. So next time you think about your personal projection, your simulation of what divinity deities are like. 
know that it is merely your doxa, your projection, your Parmenidian opinion about the gods. It's not the truth. You may approximate certain things by understanding, by reflection, by trafficking with those divine powers, but this is merely an art of hermeneion, interpreting, hermeneutics. You are a hypophet. That means that you interpret the divine by human measure. It's not the other way around. You pitch to the divine as a human animal, mortal animal. The gods don't pitch to you. And Jews and Christians made a cardinal mistake thinking that they can lease the divine towards their crippled opinions, beliefs, moralities, theologies. Now, divinity doesn't lend itself to Judeo-Christian crippled minds. It doesn't. So, remember, heavens don't belong to Judeo-Christian. They belong to themselves. Thank you.